Hi, this is Bruce Ball, and you watching The Lighting Gourmet, where we're dishing up topics on lighting. So today's topic is going to be on new construction versus recessed housing. We're just going to talk generally what does that mean. We're going to talk some specifics about new construction recessed and some specifics about remodel housing. And with that, we'll wrap up. So it's a very quick, easy video to, to watch and so it'll go by very quickly. So with that, um, generally, what were we talking about? Recessed housing only. We're not talking about the trims or the bulbs. We're just talking about the housing itself. Both are used frequently in construction, so they're both very common to use um, um, remodel and new construction cans. If it's new construction, meaning that you're building a new project, usually you use new construction. And if it's a remodel project and the sheetrocks already exist and you're not pulling that all out, then you're going to use remodel cans. That's typically what the difference is. And that's important to establish that up front because you want to get the correct can or housing for your project. And uh, we're going to describe how they install basically um, a little more. So they also can either be IC or non-IC. That's a different video topic, but it's important to understand those details so you get the correct can for your project or cans. And cost is generally not a factor. Um, new construction or, or remodel housings are really not a big cost difference, if any. So, so you pick the can you need. Don't worry about the cost of them. With new construction, uh, basically you have hanger bars. Um, that means that you're going to have open rafters. Those hanger bars get nailed to the rafters and it holds the can body, and then they sheetrock later. Um, it's, it's what we call getting installed during rough in construction. And you see those rafters, and there's no sheetrock, and then and then behind that gets installed the sheetrock. It's it's almost always used in new construction unless you have to do a remodel for some special circumstances. So it's much easier, cleaner. It's uh, they get aligned correctly, et cetera, et cetera. So, and most um, new construction cans are going to be IC rated, but you need to know your can is IC rated or non IC rated. If it's an exterior wall, it has to be IC rated. Uh, that, that, and there's again another video topic on that explains more of what that means. <clears throat> and the sizes are going to vary from two inch to six inch. So while two inch isn't very common and three inch tend to be a little more expensive, what is common is four inch and six inch and, and it's not infrequently to see a five inch can. So um, again, new construction, hanger bars, new construction, that's what you use. And they can be lamp, they can use retrofit trims, or they can be integrated LED. So again, lots of different products within that category of a new construction can. And you want to understand what you're using, why you're using it before it gets installed. And here's an example of a new construction uh, recessed housing um, that basically um, has hanger bars and they get nailed up to the rafters. And there's a body that holds the light bulb and the trim. Okay, and then when we go over to remodel housing, what is that? Uh, well, that gets installed after the sheetrock. You basically cut a hole in the sheetrock that's the size that's specified for the can, and you push the can through it and pop some clips, and it holds onto the sheetrock itself. You do that often um, when you're remodeling, where you're not pulling out the sheetrock, and you just need to add some recess. Um, it gets installed from the finished side of the room. You will need the wiring, obviously, to, to feed the can the wire, but, but you normally install a remodel can from the the finished side of that room. <clears throat> and it is more common to see a remodel recessed housing that be non-IC. Uh, there are IC five and six inch cans, and there are also um, um, non-IC uh, remodel cans in five and six inch. In four inch, you will not be able to find a four inch uh, remodel can that is IC rated. It's just too small, that doesn't allow space. So <clears throat> again, re recap of that. Uh, four inch, you're only going to be non-IC. Five and six inch, you can find uh, IC rated remodel cans. And with that, um, we talked about the sizes, really the same sizes for new construction and remodel. Anywhere from two inch, which is very unique, um, and three inch is fairly uh, infrequent still, but you see a lot of four, five, and six inch remodel cans. And thus, because they're common, they're going to be less expensive. You want to use the correct cans always for the correct project. And they can, again, be lamped, light bulbs, for example, or retrofit trims or integrated LED. So, again, a lot of choices to pick from. Educate yourself before you get them installed so you get the correct item or correct product installed. And here's a picture of a remodel can. Again, uh, those clips, those little black straps, if you will, those are what hold that can in the sheet rock. And any electrician knows how to install a remodel can. So that wraps up this video series. Other topics that you can learn more on, basic recess, terminology and parts. That's one of the first videos I'd like people to watch. Hopefully you've seen that. What is a retrofit? 
Um, IC versus non-IC recessed housing. That's important. I, I touch on that, but that video covers it in more in depth. Square versus round. If you're thinking about doing squares, watch that video and it'll, it'll save you for sure. And lamp versus integrated. That's a great another topic that is much more common. See integrated recess. Understand what you're doing before you uh, just go grab a recess. And there's other topics and there's many topics we haven't covered. So if there's one you want to hear or see or learn about, uh, shoot us a note, Bruce, at lightinggourmet.com and we'll see about putting together a video on that as well as watch one of our other videos um, to keep learning. Appreciate you watching and we love your feedback. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.